Hey everybody, it's Natalie. First of all, let me wish you all a happy Friday. Second of all, let me give you a warning because this audio is going to be nothing but tough love. And I want to emphasize the word love because I genuinely care about everyone and it is naturally in my nature to want to see you be the absolute best that you can be. Like I would never ever wish any negative on anyone that's not the type of person that I am. And for today's message, I feel like this is something that we all need to hear. Even myself, I am very guilty of this. My number one problem is I am a procrastinator. I know that. I will come up with excuse after excuse after excuse to justify why I have not done something yet. Now, I'm not saying I'm never, ever going to do it, but I do procrastinate and draw it out longer than what it has to be. And that may not be your issue, but have you ever found yourself giving an excuse for something? Even if you don't put it off right now, let's say you put it off till next week, next month, next year, or giving excuses of why you just simply can't do it. That is the point of this message. So I am creating a 30-day business run. Um, And pretty much this is where I am going to be going all in, working towards my goals. Um, For those of you that know, I am working towards the Cruise Like a Boss incentive to Bermuda. First of all, that leaves on my birthday, April 28th. So I am definitely going to be working towards an all-expense-paid trip to Bermuda, okay? And I'm also going to be working towards just generally building my business because I want to have a very solid, stable business, right? I'm working towards getting my very first check for $20,000. And with that being said, I have to focus. And I know I'm not the focusing type. I realized early on in this business Because you never really know yourself until you actually have to work with yourself. I realized sometimes I like focus and I start to procrastinate and then I come up with excuses. Now, I've realized that I'm not alone. I'm not the only person that comes up with excuses, okay? And that's okay. I'm not trying to shame anyone or bash anyone. But at some point we have to realize just what is going on. What we are doing is just giving an excuse and we need to stop accepting those excuses because when you accept an excuse, you're saying it's okay for me not to pursue my goal. It's okay for me to not pursue my dream. It's okay for me to put me on the back burner. It's okay for me to fail at this. That's what's happening once you're actually accepting that excuse. So this week, I don't know what what was going on this week, but I had quite a few people reach out to me. And the funny part was, well, not funny, but the the crazy part about it was everybody reached out to me on Facebook. You guys know I'm heavy on Facebook or whatever. The very first message said that I cannot work my business or I'm sorry, I can't post on Facebook because I'm having relationship issues. But you messaged me on Facebook. So the time that you took to message me, you could have been posting on Facebook. The next message said, I, I'm having, I'm going through so many different things right now. Don't care to get into detail. Um, yada, 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 yada. I got this new customer. Um, I haven't reached out to her. Can you go ahead and do it for me? Now, the customer that she acquired, she didn't reach out to me until two days after the person reached out to her. So at what point do we just say, hey, we're just going to give up on all of our hard work? Now, of course, I said I would reach out to the lady because if this is somebody that's looking to buy a product, I don't want them to just fall by the land side because now all of a sudden you have all of these things that popped up, right? Like once you realize what you truly, truly want, you will stop at nothing to accomplish that. For example, 
If Oprah gave out a hundred cars today, I guarantee you people could find out today and they would still be there today. You make time for the things you want to do, the places you want to go, the people you want to see. This is what you make time for because in your mind, that's what has the utmost urgency to you because it's the utmost important. So when you start making excuses, think about why you joined this business in the first place. Think about why you said that you were actually going to work in this business in the first place. So I'm not talking about people that say, hey, I just want a personal discount or anything like that. But the people that say, hey, you know what? I'm ready to work this business. I'm ready to make money. What led you up to that point to come to that decision? And then I ask you again, what's actually stopping you? So I am going to release this document. If you would all like to participate, you can leave um, updates. Let me know what's going on with your business. I would love to hear it. Um, One thing that I also want to say is, first of all, I am no one's boss. Okay, we are all in this together. We are all equals. We are all business partners. Don't ever feel the need to come up with an excuse for me. Like, first of all, I don't like excuses. If you can't tell by now, I absolutely hate them. Um, Even though I will come up with an excuse every once in a while, I completely hate excuses. And I would rather you just say, you know what, now's not the right time. Let me just focus on this and then I'm going to come back to you versus saying, hey, I can't post on Facebook yet. I'm on Facebook. Or I can't work my business and I can't take the time to email this lady back yet. I just text you so you can email Right. You have to think about your priorities. Um, So this is just the first chapter. I want to thank you guys so much for staying tuned in if you did. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.